966. This is our race trailer, the newest addition of our race trailer. We put uh, six sun flare solar panels on the roof of the trailer. It's capable of producing up to 1500 watts of power. We, we have to charge all of our battery powered tools. We gotta to charge our camera batteries. We use grinders in here, we use drills in here. And it has literally worked for a week and a half without even touching the generator. It's all been running its own off solar and off to the batteries. So what we do with this race trailer is I keep a second set of every tool, every part is stored in here at all times. When we go to a race, we just pull the race car in, we load a couple of the finite tools that we use, and we're off. When we get to the track, everything's in the same spot. It's organized, so all the mechanics know exactly where to find the tools. Putting in the solar system, made it so it's now self-sufficient. Runs all the stuff we need to keep the race car prepped, keep our area lit up, keep our support rigs powered. Everything is taken care of. It's been super dusty this year and the dust hasn't affected the solar system at all. It's pretty impressive. We may be burning a lot of fossil fuels with a race car, we're also making up with it by using the solar system to power our pit. I feel like, I feel like what we've created here is going to be a trend coming up soon in the off-road racing world. I mean, this is our life. We're, we're never in a location that you can just plug into a wall. We're always racing in the desert. We're racing at tracks that aren't near cities. There, there's always a need for power. There's always a need for power we're at, and this supplies all the power that we need for our race program. These nine Optima D31M batteries store all the energy from the solar system. So the solar system creates the power. It goes to the solar controller, and then sends power over to the batteries and charges the batteries. The batteries then supply power to the inverter, which converts to the 110 volt system. At that point, it draws from those batteries. When the batteries run dead, the solar system charges back up. There's the Xantax controller. This converts the 12 volt energy from the batteries into a 120 volt sine wave system. This left panel is all of our 120 volt systems. So your, your lights, your outlets, um, if we run a run generator, any other 110 product. That can run and you can also run all your 12 volt system at the same time. We have 12 volt light system in the trailer as well. We have a battery charge that charges our lift and our back tailgate. Lift, the hydraulic car lift that we use to stack cars above, gas, tires, everything that we need to bring our race. It goes on this rack and we lift it all the way to the top. Never have to charge anymore, it's all charged by the solar system. Our comms for race program, and we have our stereo that it, it runs as well. And it's a pretty trick system. Very a sunny day, you can click into the smart solar controller. You can choose the actual controller, um, and from that controller, you can see how much current wattage that you're producing. You can also click on the history, and you can see how much wattage you. you uh, got today, how much power you got yesterday, two days ago, and so forth, and you can see the trend of how much power we're producing with the solar system. Because you don't really think about all the energy they're using, but you actually use a ton of electricity just to keep your race program going for the week, and this does it for us. You couldn't put anything through a harder test than what we put it through in the last week and a half. Catch me howling at the moon